Okay, welcome to my channel, and I want to welcome my new subscribers. I'm glad to have you here. I got this momentarily off so you see what I'm working on, because I'm actually working on um, four different DPs at the same time, and this is one of them. This is, I got this from Diamonds on Canvas. It's called Story Time. I did a review on it, and honestly, it's been a pain in the butt because I've, has anybody ever dealt with them before? If so, please put it in the comments. My problem with it is there was not enough to, I, I mean, just about every color I have run out on and I've had to reorder. So it's been a little frustrating. And I'm working up, down. I, I'll show you the pattern. If you could, I think you can see it. Anyways, I, I'm gonna turn this around. You know what, huh? I think I'll work on the black. And I hope I got enough of it. But I'm gonna, I use parchment paper on this because it protects the glue, but yet I can take it off when I want. This will probably be the last video I do before I do my giveaway, my special hundred dollar, hundred scrubs thing to celebrate. Of course, I'm a little over hundred now. So if you haven't entered, this is, you know, it's gonna more or less be probably the last chance you get. I will be doing it on the last day of the month actually. Around. Ten a night, so I guess. And I, I really love this pattern. That's the only reason I am even fooling with it. I have had it's been taken I ever. And I've only gotten that far because I have to keep ordering girls. And I'm gonna have to do it this go around too. Okay, let me get prepared. my pen that I got from Donnie. And, you know, I've been really lucky this month. I don't know if it's because it's my birthday month or what, but I have won a total of three giveaways. One from Diamond Attic, which is in the video. I won a $30 gift certificate for Done. Art Club. I will be using that Sunday night. I hope the code is still good. It should be. It's a gift certificate. And um, when as soon as I get that and I get the order in, because I want Donnie to see what I actually got with it. But I did find out one thing, and that's the reason I'm waiting to the first is. It doesn't, I thought I could order a painting, and the painting with $30 was $24. It should have covered shipping, but apparently you got to pay for shipping. So those who are in my giveaway, you will have to pay shipping.
pitfalls of being tall. About five, eight and a half. Okay, you've got to turn these sideways. So I think I'm going to work on black areas. Okay. I hate these tic tacs because the problem with them is that it's actually labeled. I tried first labeling them like. No, I did not. This is one of the new ones I had to order, number 400. And I'm. I'm actually have to get, get some more of these to, to, like I said, this has been real frustrating. Okay, 310, where are you? I know I had another one in here. And I know it's not gonna probably be enough either. What's this one? No. Here we go. 310. Put it right there. I tell you why, I, I, I got some of it blue wax, and I'm not impressed. I don't think it's any worse or any better than the pink wax. wax at all. And I know I had somebody make a comment the new at Diamond Painting. If you are, this, you just kind of shake this around. And this is because it has so much graffiti. I don't use the um, multi-placer. This is hard to do without my light habit. I haven't got a place to plug it in. Nears plug in his way over there. I'm gonna have to buy me a tension cord. I will be doing my giveaway. Like I said, on the last, actually the last day of the month. When I do, I really don't need your address, just your email. And because I decided to do it the way Dolly did, you, I, have, I haven't had anybody try to steal a giveaway from me. But I will put it in the link when I do it. And you'll have to click on it and befriend me on YouTube. And then I just email you the code because I put give you the code that way because the last time I bought one they insisted on sending it to me in code and this is open to anybody it won't matter Canada United States, you know, wherever. Oops. Wait, I just move you right up here. There we go. And like I said, I would like to know what other people's experience has been with Diamond on Campus because she has a YouTube channel here and she has a Facebook. She 
doesn't have a website, so she either tells you when she's got one for sale, or she, like, she, I was on a waiting list, actually, that she put this up to get, to find out how many people actually wanted it. She was gracious enough, as I said in the video, when I did the review on it, when she got a man, it was before my payday, and she, instead of selling it, she actually held it for me. So I really don't know how long this one is going to take me. For the simple fact is I have to keep ordering drills. Um, I don't know about the black. This is the first time I used the black. I've gone through all the black. I already went through one package of black on this. And the packages are kind of small. So I'm working on my second one, and there is no more 310. So it's really been frustrating. Would I order from her again? I probably would, but if it had the second time, I wouldn't. Has she been had a regular website like Paint with Diamonds or Diamond Art Club? I would have contacted her and says, hey, on every color you did not send me enough. Because but she doesn't, so no you don't. Told you there. I bet I had the fan off. Maybe I'll do this little butterfly here. Will I frame this? More than likely. I will probably frame it. This looks pretty. But it's not telling how long it's going to take me because like I made a boo-boo and I am working on actually four diamond paintings. Two of them are from Diamond Art Club. One's a Square. My custom from Ever Moment, which I swear to God, I loved, loved it. I love the drills. I just love everything about it because no trash. Um, done in our club, the one I'm working on, I'm not finding any trash. I've been able to use every single drill. But I altered it a little bit. It's that deer one, you know, it's like a set on an island and it's there and it's got these branches out and the rest is like black sky. That's the one I'm working on. And it does have some stars, but it didn't have enough stars for my liking. And I don't know how it's going to turn out, since I knew I had some extra of the 80 drills or whatever you want to call them. I put a few more stars in there. And I'm almost halfway through that. I just don't know how long, much longer I can continue doing it. And I tell you, I made a discovery. I actually have an easier time with the squares 
as far as keeping them straight. With the rounds when I'm done, I've got to take a straightener to them. Or leave some spots. Which I'm probably going to have to do because I ain't got a lighting pad and some of this area is kind of dark. How long has everybody been um, diamond painting? I gotta take this thing out, it's getting in the way. There. I am so excited about my giveaway. I'm already thinking what next month is. I gotta look at my stash. I got a diamond painting clock in there. that I'm going to do. And since I have the DP and I don't have to order it, i probably going to do that international state at the same time. If not, And an international wins, they will to get a thirty dollar uh, gift certificate to Diamond Art Door. But so far, they're the other ones I see to gift certificate. I probably need to find out from different companies if they do it. I don't know if I can order one from like AliExpress or eBay and have them send it out. Actually, I just don't know. I don't think eBay, I think I'll find the same problem with, um, I did with Amazon. But I don't know about AliExpress. I don't think it's AliExpress is a U.S. based company. I'm not sure, so if anybody knows, put it in the comments. This video won't be long. Cause I just I mentioned this during my last whipper chat that I was going to talk about it. and the trouble I was having with it. So we'll see. It may take months to do this because I'll probably have to keep all the freaking drills. see the outline of the butterfly. I can at least do that. It's hard for me to, I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. And I went to get a pair when I first got my disability because I got like, it took three years. And I got over, I actually had over 10,000. But I had to pay general relief back. 
and I had to pay the lawyer, which he got three thousand. So out of the fifteen thousand I got back, I ended up with ten thousand. And I'm not complaining because, you know, contrary to what people don't realize, on general relief, it's not free money. Um, person's only allowed on it. How are you doing? Fine. That was just one of our tenants. Say hi to everybody. Oh, hi. And um, they have to do 40 hours community service, put in 20, 30 applications to jobs, and you can't turn down a full time job. Turn you around, turn you around. Let's see. Triangle, 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 triangle. Is that the one? Yes, yeah, 741. Let's see if I got to use 741 or if I'm going to have to do a different. I do. Now the thing is about the 741, this is all that I have. It's not going to be enough because it, I mean, it's really throughout the thing. Do I have some more in here? When I kid up, I don't, I, I put them all in containers, every list bit up, bit up, so like I might have like four containers of these of 310 and uh, 920, I'm sure if you're with this. Yeah, see? These are all the 741s I got. So let me use. And then it's not going to be enough. I already know it. partially done, at least outline. Oops. Put you there. Oh, that looks heavy. What? That looks heavy. Yeah, it's not as heavy as the actual, that little box that I just brought in is really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got a little small box about the size of this. About this big. It's only about that big. It weighs more than this. Oh, wow. It's all lead weight. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, I can't even that for the last trip. <laughs> so you're just finishing moving in? Huh? You're finishing moving in? Yeah. Getting most of the stuff out of my um, storage unit. I still have a few trips. Is it going to fit in your room? Yeah, it'll fit, but uh, it it, it, I just have to make multiple trips because they're so heavy. Yeah, okay. See, I really thought this color was going to be for the flesh, but it apparently really is it. Switches to confusing. There you go.
anyways, like I was saying, so I, and to general relief, if you file for disability, like I did, they can't make you do community work, which is, um, they send you to parks, mostly pick up trash, what have you. I did that one time. And I admit, I just, like, I got a pride in uh, cleaning the whole freaking large park. Took all day, come back the next day, it's a mess again, people don't throw their stuff away. Piss me off. But when I fought for disability, they didn't, and you do sign papers saying that you pay it back, and believe me, they will go after you. First time I used it, I had lost my job, and I'll tell you about that here in a minute. And uh, I was homeless at the time, and that really had a little bit to do with why I lost my job, in my belief. But. Um, At the time, I didn't have a car, and uh, so I would do community work for most of the day, and then put in applications. What had happened, I was working at this nursing home. It used to be, originally, it was a home way back when for type, was it typho? What was it? Typho? Uh, oh God, what was it? Anyways, the kitchen was actually in the basement type thing in the rooms. We're on the second floor. Laundry was in the first floor where the kitchen was. It was specially ventilated. TB clinic. Yeah, that's what it was. Where people would go when they had TB. And of course that kind of went in the wayside and it's a nursing home. And I worked the night shift. Well, we had a patient. She kept ringing the bell wanting to talk to a nurse. And if you ask me, that's her right. PM shift didn't want to be bothered with it. And every time she rang, a night shift was, was like every 15 minutes. Fifth, every 10, 15 minutes. I'd answer her bell. She said she wanted to speak to the nurse. I says I let the nurse know. I would tell the, the nurse. Nurse would go in. Fifteen minutes later, the same thing. Then around what was it four or five o'clock? By this time, the patient's really having a fit, and I, I really <coughs> And I got the nurse, told me to go in and take her vitals, because frankly, we got to call the doctor, because she says she's wanting to go to the hospital. Got to call the doctor, and the first thing they're going to ask are for vitals, which were normal at that point. Um, nurse told me they were going to send her in. So I'm going in there getting the woman ready. Come to find out the doctor said no. Um, they, I think they're hoping she would just come go away you just forget about it and stop ringing. But when she rang, I says, They're, they won't be coming. 
And this is after I got her up, took her to the bathroom, got her Bible, what she, what have you. Finally, at five o'clock, I take her vitals again, and the nurse says, oh, I am going to send her in. And they did, and they kept her at the hospital. This is where I made my error. She complained. I don't blame her. But when I went charting, I only put down patient rain bell, wanted to speak to nurse, reported to nurse in my initials. Nurse signed it. I felt I should have been protected. Nurse claimed that I did tell him he knew nothing about it until five o'clock than when I reported it. Well, I am sorry, you make rounds for meds at least twice during the shift, so how could you not know? I mean, seriously. So, bottom line is, it's easier to replace a CNA than it is a nurse. Especially when the patient don't understand and she's blaming me. Not really understanding that I've been reporting all night. And So that's how that happened. And that's usually what happened. Because the choice between a nurse and a CNA, well, it's easier to place a CNA there a dime a dozen than it is a nurse. And I think they fired it because I seen somewhere else at a job there, and I'm not sure that he actually quit and went there. What upset me is the D.O.N. I actually followed her there from another nursing home. Okay, I followed her there. So she's known me in my work for four or five years. So she should have known I was the one telling the truth. But that's how that worked. The noise that you hear in the background is just um, tenants, house manager. They laugh when I vlog, but oh well, let them laugh. And see, I was a CNA before there was <laughs> in that work, before there was ever such thing, from the time I was 18 years old. I wasn't worried about finding another job as a CNA. I had good reference, but then I developed emphysema, COPD, spots in my lungs, fell, injured my somatic nerve, went to the emergency room. First I went to Scripps and x-ray and he says, well your hip's not broke. But they tried to tell me it was this and that. Well, Scripps Hospital Children, this is misdiagnosed me 100% of the time. 
I went there for a bone cut in my throat, and they just sent me home, told me to get hold of this doctor the next day, when in fact, the doctor said to tell me to come back in the morning to the hospital, and he removed it then. Well, why should I have to wait? I had a bone. Granted, it was such a way it wasn't interfering with my breathing, but it could have moved to it any time during the night, and it would have been a different story. Of course, my family would have sued. They just typed up I had bronchitis. Well, the bronchitis didn't go away. It turned out I had emphysema, but I um, went to Sharp's Hospital. And mind you, I was so weak that my legs, I'd be walking and my legs would just give out and down I'd go. Boyfriend actually had to help me to the ambulance. Um, went to Sharps. Um, going up the ramp. Because my cousin dropped me off, I'm practically crawling. It was so bad a nurse noticed and came to my aid to help me in. And when I came in, their security guard that you check in with took one look at me and says, we need a wheelchair out here now before she falls. And they told me it was somatic nerve damage that I injured my somatic nerve. I asked them how long it would take to heal up. They really could tell me. None of them would give me pain pills. And let me tell you something. A simple x-ray of my hip was extremely painful. Even with the pain pill they gave me at the hospital, it still hurt. And after that, I went to rehab. Let me tell you, it was a torture, but um, the things they were having me do, I could do at home. The only good thing of it was, is at the end of it, they would massage it. So we're talking about massaging my butt. That's where it was injured. And I did get some strength back in my legs. But if I'm out and about, and I know I'm going to be out and about, say hi. Hi. Um, Hello. I take a cane because I'll need the support. And now I'm upset because I got to find a new lung doctor. I thought today was my appointment. I called to find out exactly what time. Found out it was yesterday. I don't make a habit of missing my appointment, especially to my long doctors. But they told me I'd have to find a new, go back to my primary and find a new long doctor. Well, you know what? Screw him. I got enough meds. And bottom line, I didn't like him anyways. He wasn't my original lung doctor. Just at the same place. And that doctor left. I don't know why. And I inherited him. And I was pissed off at, at him anyways. I mean, he knew I had emphysema. He knew it could affect the heart. So why did he take my primary doctor, decide to send me to come and just, just to have my heart checked out? How come he didn't? I mean, seriously. So you know what? <laughs> According to my primary, the only one I can go to next is Insanitas. And I guess that's what I have to do. Even if it means renting a hotel the night before, the doctor's appointment, taking a bus up there, and then that's what I'll do. So we'll have to see. 
Anyways, that's enough for today. Um, happy Diamond Penny. Be sure to enter my contest. I will put it in the link. I will probably post it one more time. Uh, no, I won't. Because uh, they do on just paint diamonds and underground painting, they do allow you to post lunch. And I'm like, crazy night. I really don't want to. The views and I've already posted on it twice this month. So, I will probably put another video on my Instagram, which, um, it's Diamond Painting Dreamer. I'll try to put that in the link. If you don't like it, you can only do five or ten minute videos, so. I don't know about that. Anyways, happy Diamond Painting. Um, Today is the 27th, 28, 29, 30. Is it 31 days or? Glenn! Yeah. Is it 30 or 31 days this month? Okay, the 30th, I will be doing it. Uh, I'm probably gonna use my camera. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna actually test it out before I do it on a different video of mine. Do the comment picture, see if I can um, use a comment pi picture and use my camera to film it off that way. If not, I'm going to have to write everybody's name, fold it, and do it like I did last month. So, I'll probably test that out tonight. See if I can do it that way. But you guys will be hearing me on the 30th for my giveaway. I wish everybody luck on it. And remember, I do do giveaways monthly. But this is a big one. And I will have a big one again when I reach 200. Oh, God, forgive that noise. Um which is like 75 more people. But I don't know which one it's going to be. I'm going to end this now because somebody's drilling when they know I'm vlogging. So, I will catch you next time. Happy diamond painting.